Even the biggest trees begin their life as a tiny seed. Read about how the little acorn grew big. Little by little. Little by little, an acorn sat as it slowly sank in its mossy bed. I'm improving every day, hidden deep in the earth away. Little by little, each day it grew. Little by little, it sipped the chew. Downward it sent out a thread-like root. Up in the air sprang a tiny shoot. Day by day and year by year, little by little, the leaves appear. And the slender branches spread far and wide till the mighty oak is the forest cried. In the poem, little by little, it describes how an acorn improves and enhances itself over years as it lies buried deep underneath the earth. A root of the plant grows downward. Simultaneously, a tiny shoot of the plant appears above the ground and thereafter the leaves appear on it. Soon after that, the slender branches of the tree spread across everywhere. In due course of time, the corn grows into the mighty oak tree. In a similar fashion, just as the corn symbolizes strength and the potential, every child wants to grow up one fine day as a wise and intelligent individual just like the mighty oak tree. New words are hidden, slowly, downward, slender, mighty, branches, pride, improving, shift, shoot. Reading is fun. Question 1. Name the tree that the corn grows into. An acorn grows into an oak tree. Question 2. What things does a seed need to grow? A seed needs water, air, soil and sunshine to grow. Question 3. How many describing words can you find in this poem? There are three describing words in the poem. They are tiny, slender and mighty. Talk time. Look at the two pictures. Find four things that are different about these trees and talk about them. This question you have to do by yourself. But I am just giving some clue. Picture 1. I gave you fruits like mango, apples and guava. I also give you honey. There is a nest where the mama and papa sparrows feed their baby sparrows. I provide you medicine. Picture 2. Human being cut the bark of my trees and use it for making tires and rubbers. Not a single bird come to sit on my branches as they get cut by a human being. People burn my bark and branches and pollute the environment. People need to learn the way to take care of a plant. Let's write. Look at the picture one. Write three sentences on what the trees give us. Trees give us fruits. Trees provide us medicine and honey. Trees give us oxygen to breathe. Now look at the picture two. Write three sentences on how we harm the trees. We harm trees by cutting their barks for making rubbers and tires. 
we harm trees by cutting their branches because of which the birds nest get destroyed we pollute the environment by burning the leaves of the trees these words describe parts of a tree write them in the given space stem bark leaves branch twigs root shoot stem it gives strength to the tree and help in making the tree stand straight bark it is brown colored part present on the stem leaves these are green and many in numbers this part make food in the plant branch these are parts emerging from the stem on which the leaves grow birds make their nest on them twigs these are thin weak branches root these are thin like thread and long part under the earth which hold the plant in the soil shoot the uppermost part of the plant above the soil is called the shoot match the opposites one has been done for you mighty weak downward upward slowly fast little big slender fat day night i hope you have enjoyed the lesson thank you and have a nice day